You're fired. That's what U.S. President Donald Trump told his acting attorney general for refusing to enforce his controversial travel ban order. The White House also warned senior U.S. diplomats to get in line with the policy or quit. Kim Yun Bin has the full story. U.S. President Donald Trump sacked the federal government's top law enforcement official, Acting Attorney General Sally Yates, on Monday after she refused to carry out the administration's new travel ban targeting seven Muslim majority countries. She was a holdover for the Obama administration in place until Congress confirms Trump's nominee for Attorney General Jeff Sessions, whose Senate hearing is set for later this week. Until then, taking Yates's place will be U.S. District Attorney Dana Buente. Was sworn in the same day. Trump's executive order puts a 120 day hold on bringing refugees into the country and a 90 day ban on entry by citizens from Iran, Iraq, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, Syria, and Yemen. That is illegal, that is unconstitutional, and that is immoral. We are here to fight back. Despite tens of thousands of protesters demonstrating against the ban, Trump argues that tougher vetting of immigrants is needed to protect Americans against terrorism. In a separate note, White House spokesperson Sean Spicer called on senior diplomats to get in line with the immigration moratorium or leave their posts after dozens of State Department diplomats signed a memo opposing the ban. The memo claims that the order will hamper efforts to prevent terrorist attacks and will not achieve its stated aim of protecting the American people. The internal memo is expected to be delivered via the distant channel, a State Department mechanism used to offer alternative views on foreign policy without fear of retaliation. The channel was first established in the 1960s during the Vietnam War to ensure the department's senior leadership could hear alternative policy views on the war. Kim Bin, Arya News.